normally don't cover suitcases on this show, but we make an exception when they're packed with science. And our next guest has just that. Check it out. When you're sick, sometimes you have to wait days or even weeks for laboratory test results before the doctor knows exactly what's wrong with you. But what if physicians could reliably identify infectious diseases in minutes instead of days? To find out more, today I'm meeting with Dr. Harshini Mukundan, a microbiologist and group leader at Los Alamos National Laboratory. Somebody that I loved actually suffered from uh, meningitis, but the doctors were not able to say quickly enough whether it was bacterial or viral meningitis. And that actually inspired me towards developing universal diagnostics so that we might be able to answer these kind of questions more quickly and effectively in the future. Today, Dr. Mukundan is gonna show me the incredible technology her team has developed to be able to quickly detect dangerous pathogens. But I think I'm at the wrong place because this is supposed to be a huge lab where Dr. Mukundan can test for all sorts of stuff, like viruses, bacteria, toxins. Nabil! Oh, Dr. Mukundan! Hi! So I am in the right place. Yes, you absolutely are. So I guess I'm a little confused. I thought we were gonna get to see your lab today. Well, you are. It's right here. That's your lab? The entire thing fits in there? Come, let me show you how it works. We're in a local park today, but this mobile lab could be brought anywhere in the world, and it even has a cool name. This is Pegasus. Pegasus? Pegasus stands for Portable Engineered Analytical Sensor with Automated Sampling. What does it do? It can detect germs and microbes, pathogens that cause disease in a variety of samples like soil, water, contaminated foods, even humans and animals. Well, can we see what's inside? Absolutely. Whoa. This is an optical biosensor. What we have here is a laser. Lasers? You have lasers in here? Yes, that is actually the source of light here. This little chamber over here has both our target as well as molecules with fluorescence in it. When the light hits it, that's going to give out a signal, and we're going to measure it via this computer interface that's present right here. You shoot light in the form of lasers at the thing we're studying, and then we can tell if it has pathogens in it. Yes, you nailed it. I wonder what we can test here at this park. Wait, you said food would work, right? I did. How about chicken? That's perfect. Yeah, no, I always keep chicken close by. So I got force to have it. To test the Pegasus, Dr. Mukundan has brought along a completely safe, synthetic, positive control substance that will trick the sensor to react as if it detected a harmful bacteria like salmonella. Put your goggles on first. Oh yes, of course. Safety first. Using a swab, I take a sample of our fake salmonella, but I'm only using it to contaminate one of the pieces of chicken. I even wrote a song about it. Swabbing a chicken to test for bacteria. Uh. Can you tell which chicken I swab? I can't, but I'm hoping the sensor can. So let's test it out. Dr. Mukundan takes a sample from each chicken piece and adds it to these small vials filled with a sterile buffer solution. I wrote a little remix for this part. Say swabby, swabby, swabbing the chicken, hoping that we'd find no salmonella. And now we're ready to scan our samples for the fake salmonella molecules. Three, two, one, scan. That is a negative sample. After the second sample comes up with a negative, we inject our last sample. Yo! Okay, that's definitely different than the other two. What does this bump mean? It means that the sample is positive and there's something in there that the sensor is detecting. So that definitively means that this is the piece of chicken that I swabbed at the beginning. Exactly. And I'm honestly really happy this worked out because between you and me, I completely forgot which piece of chicken I swabbed. It's amazing that you can fit everything that you need for a lab into something that you can just pack up and take with you around the world. Thank you for showing me how this technology can keep us safer and healthier. We're hoping we can take this technology out into the field soon, where it can be used by people that really need it. That'd be great. You're not going to eat this chicken, are you? Oh, absolutely not. Actually, speaking of which, I should probably go throw it away. Bye, Harshi. Bye. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, 
just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.